Have you ever stared at a recipe and wondered how all of this turns into this? Or were you ever frustrated by the writer who tells you their entire life story before actually sharing the recipe? There is a solution in the creator economy for both of those problems. Kitch is an early stage company, a video streaming platform that connects you to some of the best chefs around the world. It offers you on-demand and live stream videos hosted by chefs themselves. You no longer need to stare at a written step-by-step -step recipe, guessing exactly how to whisk these three ingredients or in what order should you combine particular mixtures. Look at the screen, this Michelin star chef is about to show you exactly how to do it. The best part, almost all of its content is offered for free. Now you may choose to support those chefs and say a thank you in the form of a small monthly fee subscription, a one-time fee, essentially a tip, or you could even buy chefs books and other merchandise. One of my favorite features on Kitch is an ability to join the chef's table, which enables you to ask chef live questions and have a discussion as they prepare the meal. Right about now, you might be asking yourself, how have I not heard about this website before? The simple reason is, Kitch is technically still in its beta stage. Some of its features, like buying products directly from the chefs, is not available yet to a broader audience. The website launched about 18 months ago, and since then, it has slowly been evolving. The timing of their launch was perfect. Kitch opened its doors to the chefs in the midst of the pandemic, a tough time that hit restaurants especially hard. Kitch offered a safe bay, an opportunity for chefs to utilize their kitchens and generate additional revenue for themselves and their business. The challenging part is that Kitch entered a very competitive space. Twitch and YouTube have been battling it across all the multiple categories in live streaming space, and YouTube and TikTok were battling it out in the short form or tutorial space. Between these three platforms, Kitch had to fight hard to gain any traction with a limited budget and a work in progress set of tools. And to play devil's advocate, I can look at the cooking content space and say, TikTok does a better job at teasing the recipes. YouTube is a more popular place to locate full video tutorials. Twitch is where I'd go to watch a live stream of a chef preparing a meal. And a website like Food Network is where I'd locate a written recipe and a list of ingredients. But this is exactly why I wanted to talk about Kitch. As the creator economy evolves, as the number of people who have access to the internet grows, it will be harder and harder to find very specific information in general spaces. You would actually need those niche websites and platforms to go and locate that important information that is relevant to the very specific topic that you're after. On TikTok, you're just a swipe away from the distractions the recommendation algorithm will feed you, and they will waste your 10 to 20 minutes of the day. On YouTube, the search and the side panel will sidetrack you five times before you find the right recipe. Twitch is great, but maybe you don't want to scroll through the feed searching for the food recipes while there are several people hosting a Q&A in the bathtubs and revealing outfits. And don't get me started on those written biographies that are attached to all the written recipes. I'm hungry, my kids are hungry. I'm sure your life story is interesting, but I need to figure out this roast beef recipe now. In the whirlpool of all of these distractions, it is nice to know that there is a platform out there where a professional chef will provide me with the real advice on how to prepare the meals that they feed to thousands of their guests every week. I'll give you one final comparison on why niche content websites will become very relevant. Have you tried to purchase something like a small home appliance or an electronic gadget online recently? It is impossible. With all of these random unknown brands polluting your search online or on Amazon, like, who can I trust? Because of this, I now start my search on websites like Ratings or Best Buy. Their trusted source in a tech niche, and I know I will get the great advice or at least a good starting point. With food recipes, we face the exact same issue. Have you seen the variation of recipes for a single dish? Maybe for someone experienced, it's not a big problem. But for the majority of folks like me, we would not know if we picked a bad recipe until the meal is served and eaten. Kitch technically solves this problem by becoming the safe bay where amateurs and experienced cooks alike can come to locate their next favorite dish. And they will be taught how to prepare it by a master chef. The path ahead will not be easy. Kitch is in a highly competitive environment and the new solution might come out quick and out of nowhere and supersede their achievements so far. But that's the world of building the startups. It's a daily battle to maintain and grow your business. Will Kitch succeed? I don't know, maybe. But I included them on my list of most influential brands in the creator economy this year because they show us what is possible. As we continue to grow this creator economy, there will be more need for those niche home bases, the websites that offer you the information that is curated specifically by the creators in that space. And without any distraction from all other creators on the platform that just has general topics across the board. This is where Kitch is very important. This is where they are trailblazing the new space. And this is why. I wish them good luck, I hope they succeed, and if you're curious to learn more about other companies on my list or in general would like to double click into the creator economy, check out this playlist and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!